Hello viewers, today we are going to discuss how to navigate through the application to the pages using the Oracle Apex 3 item. You know, in our earlier video, we have shown you how to create a basic tree item. Now, today we are going to show how to uh, navigate to another page from this uh, by clicking any item of this tree. For example, if I click on any of the uh, item and I want to go to another page, my selected page, then that page I will be redirected to that page from this item. This is the that is the idea for today's discussion. To do that, we'll have to understand Apex URL system. How Apex URL is managed. How Apex URL works in the uh, Oracle Apex. So uh, we'll have to discuss discuss a little bit about the uh, URL syntax in Oracle Apex. So let's go there. Uh, here, let's see understanding the url that displays for a page you see look at this one this is the actually url we're looking for because up 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 to this it's not our uh, lookout you know we will only discuss about this one because this one is common for any application and this is the portion where we divide to the application and pages and session so let's see uh, what are uh, what these items mean let's understand this you see this is app page and session these three items are the most important and the most required item to move from one page to another remember if you want to move one page to another you must mention at least this thing app is the application id page equal to page id where you want to redirect to and session is the session of your current session yeah okay session id of your current logged in session and there are many things in the uh, url we're not going to discuss right now it, it is very easy to understand uh, okay let's have a uh, brief discussion about it if question mark t equal to this one is common everywhere app the, this one holds the application id page this one holds the page id and this one holds the session id see these are uh, individual values are separated by colon this one is the request i mean if there is any button name uh, this one is debug if it will be uh, opened as debug clear cache if any page is cleared page number will be uh, provided here and this one is the item name uh, when you redirect to a page which item to be set and this is the item value uh, when you set the item item what will be the value of that item yes this is the value we're going to set in this item and you will specify which whether this will be printer friendly or not okay this is the actual meaning of the url so you see app page and session up for this session uh, we will be limited to this discussion and you see we will have to create a link like this so that we can uh, redirect uh, so that we can, when we link, uh, click on the tree item, any of the tree item, we are redirected to our specific page. Okay, so let's move to our application. Here, up until now, if I click here, nothing is happening. Now, you see, we will have to create a link here. Where we are going to create the link? Remember the query we created earlier. You see everything will be unchanged um, except the link item. Okay, you see here link is uh, specified as null. So when I click there, nothing happens, but we're going to change it. So how we're going to change it? Let's see. We're going to change like this one. Okay, copy. Now, what does this mean? This one means, you see, 
S quotient P equals this is common. This one is concatenated first, and then colon A P P I D. This is the session state value. This is the uh, application item which holds the application ID of the current session. When you are logged in in an application, this item holds the application ID of that application. Okay, and this is the page ID. This means that we're going to redirect to page number three. No matter which which three item you click, you will always be redirected to three, page number three. And you see, pay application ID. and page id is separated by colon and again page id is separated from the session id with the colon again now this is another application I application item which holds the current session id okay now you see this url looks similar to the url we are we have discussed here you see app page and session we have ignored this one only we have used this one so let's check it if it works or not so apply changes and then run it so let's click any of the item we are move to page 3 you see in the url we are in the page 3 so our page linking is working just fine now let's make it a little bit dynamic for the testing of our link linking to the other page uh, to redirecting to the page from a uh, employees employees tree we have uh, made a little bit change in our employees table we have added a column in the employees table which is we have uh, you see we have added a column called page id and we have updated the employees table for example for employee id 100 we have assigned the page id 1 and for employee employee id A hundred and one assigned page number two, and for employee ID one hundred and two, we have assigned page ID three. So that whenever we click on those items, we will be redirected to those pages. Okay. So this is our uh, goal. So let's see uh, how the pay uh, data looks like. You see, four hundred page ID is one for hundred and one. Nina page ID is two, and for hundred and two, Lake page ID is three. Now, how can I uh, make it happen in the in the tree? Employees tree in the employees tree. You see, the link is again changed with. this you see here uh, this page id is the column name of the table employees you see we are not using any co any colon here so this page id is the column name of the table application id this one and this column and this page id is a very important thing here i have just changed a little bit uh, i have tested for three items only if you uh, make changes for the other employees then it will also work So let's check it if this one works. Apply changes, then run the page. Now, what something in the um, lower left side? Left side, you see, you see, in the lower left side, if uh, if question P is equal to One hundred and one colon one, and the session ID. And for Nina, you see, the page in the page in the place of page ID, it is two, and for Lex, it is three. So our, you see, when I I will click on the king, it will 
redirect to page one and if I click on uh, Kocher, if I click on Nina Kocher, it will redirect to page two and if I click on Lex, it will redirect to page three. So let's check it if our assumption is okay, if our uh, demonstration works. Okay, let's click on Stephen King. You see, where are we? We are in page one. Page one. And again, run the page. And for Nina Kocha, if I click on Nina Kocha, then it will move to page number two. And if I move to, and if I click on legs, it will move to page number three. So thank you for watching. Thank you everybody.